Bryce TV. Pre-origin versus stupid pump, plus what pre-workout I mostly recommend for all people that work go to gym, coming up in this video. Stick around. On my last video, I got a commenter. He wanted to know stupid pump versus origin pre. What's my favorite pre-workout around 200 milligrams of caffeine? And what's my overall number one pre-workout? In this video, I'm gonna touch on all three of those questions for you, for all the viewers and for him specifically. So, as far as Stupid Pump versus Origin Pre, I can tell you pretty easily. Well, th these two are very different. So, first of all, the, or the Origin Pre workout it's it's a it's pretty low stem. You can feel a tingle in it, but it's low stem. It does help. It does keep my focus in there pretty well. But you don't have a lot of that. You don't get any jitters from the caffeine at all, and that's because there's a there's a lot of the L-theanine in here, which suppresses some of the effects of caffeine to keep you calm down. I think there's too much of it because you don't get enough of that energetic feeling or whatever. But you also don't suffer the same up oh, suffer some of the effects you could suffer from having too much caffeine in it in the first place. Which I, from my research on all these pre workouts I have here, it seems that as long as the caffeine dosage is pretty low, around the 200. Uh, milligram area then they don't really have theanine in it because I mean that's that's I think that is the recommended daily dosage uh, if you're prior to working out in the gym is around 200 milligrams of caffeine um, this one has 300 right 300 grams of cat milligrams of caffeine so it's, it's a low stem this here the stupid pump stupid pump pre-workout from Damien Patrick at Total Alpha this I like it. it. You get there's like it feels like a a, a no a non stem in it, but it does have 300 milligrams of caffeine in it. Um, no L theanine. There must be something else in here that uh, lowers the effect of all that caffeine. But um, this is this is a real clean supplement. Like I would I would take this if I mean your your focus is 100. It's it's like 100 focus with this with the stupid pump. Um, which the the pre the origin pre you can get you get focus out of it also with a bit of tingle but you know you're getting a bunch of stuff in here that I mean you probably don't necessarily need there's a lot of ingredients in this one too but it it, it works well like without any of the jitters no no beta alanine jitters or nothing like that so I mean the stupid pump is really good um to answer your other question though I mean if I had to choose between the two stupid pump or origin pre uh the best way I can answer that is which one would I buy again? That's the way I base it. I wouldn't buy Origin pre-workout again. And I mean, I'm an ambassador for the brand and I, I gotta be honest with that. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't buy another tub of it. $45, 21 servings. I probably wouldn't do it. The stupid pump is 25 servings, I believe. 25 servings on the stupid pump. Four more servings for the same price. I mean, this is a little expensive too, but I feel clean energy with it. And me, I, I do like that clean feeling I get. And I, I think I'll, if I had to choose between the two, which one would I buy? I'm buying the stupid pump again over buying the Origin pre-workout. Now, when it comes down to your next question here, what did you have? What would be my favorite altogether pre-workout for around 200 milligrams? <clears throat> for around 200 milligrams, I really like Athlean X's pre-workout. Um, you know everything in here is, is the way it should be. You're getting the right ingredients. You're getting the right amount of those ingredients. And, I mean, it's legit. You get, it's, it's a step above what the Origin Pre is. So... I, and, but it's got a hundred less um, milligrams of caffeine. So I I really like the Athlean X pre-workout. If I was gonna buy another one that I wanted specifically because I know I want something good around 200 milligrams, I'm buying the Athlean X. As far as my number one pre-workout, what I really, really like is like my best combination of them all together. I like the Beyond Raw Lit from, uh, I got this at GNC. I don't normally finish off tubs of my pre-workout. I never really finish off a tub of anything as far as pre-workout goes until I got this. 
like this this is the best for me for me it is the best combination of a stimulant focus energy all that in one this is a this has 250 milligrams of caffeine uh it, it's, it's really good though really good 45 dollars for 30 servings so out of those other ones that i just mentioned it's the best it's the best bang for your buck out of those three i'm not saying it's the best overall out of anything i'm just saying oh out of those that i mentioned this is the best one for best bang for your buck everything in here is properly dosed um well just about properly dosed i'm not a big scientific guy i'm let you know if the shit works i use it that's the way i go by so i know when i take this i'm i'm on in the gym when i take lit i'm on in the gym i've taken lit and been in there damn near three hours and felt and i mean time's passing by i'm not even noticing i'm just fucking going so i really love lit's pre-workout now the thing that too to understand to, to pay attention to when you're buying pre-workouts a lot of them have stuff in that you don't need so if you're out there looking for a pre-workout to take you're trying to find something that's right for you research the ingredients make sure there's the stuff in there that you actually need a lot of these things that are in pre-workouts are not beneficial to you unless you're taking them on a day-to-day -day basis anyway not only few of those ingredients you're going to feel immediate effects from it you're going to get the immediate benefits that are actually going to carry you into your workout and through that for the most part a lot of this stuff you need to have on a daily basis it needs to build up in your system like creatines and a lot of pre-workouts beta alanine things like that they have to build up over time in your system being taken on a consistent basis daily so just keep that in mind too when you're looking for a pre-workout a lot of people want to make sure they get the jitters and, and all that like beta alanine needs to be taken every day people think it's helping them right then with their with their um with their uh, workout immediately but oh, it's really something that has to be has to accumulate over time in the body and build up in your muscles um same thing with creatine it has, it has to, it needs like two to three weeks to saturate your muscles so you can really get the uh the benefit of having creatine in your system so that's just something to take in take into consideration when you're out there looking for um supplements like that just know that certain things need to be like creatine you need around five grams per day to um to, to for them to prop, uh, properly saturate the muscles beta alanine i think is around four to six grams a day so i mean just look up things like that <clears throat> sorry just look up things like that make sure you're getting the proper proper um ingredients when you're getting these pre-workouts all right so that's going to be all i got for you guys today if you have any other questions hit me up uh leave a comment down below in the comment box uh you can you can always hit me up on instagram message me there i'm on instagram a lot um if any if any supplement companies you're watching my videos you want to send me something to test out and try i i'm all up for it you can email me i'll leave my email in the description below um I'll, you can contact me on, via instagram as well or in the comment section below all right thank you guys for watching it's been good talking to you guys anything else you want to see let me know i'll see you guys in the next one peace out